Good morning. I'm Lynn and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. I know that Arnie's going to be rolling the fields today so you'll get to see how exciting that is. And the rest, we're going to walk through the barns and see what the day has in store for us. So stay with us. We're going to start off today feeding the rams a bale of hay. bit of a mad dash out here. Some of them trying to escape. Oh, you guys, why would you do that? Hey, hey! Hear that? Hear the one that just went towards the two that are fighting? Hear that voice? <laughs> That's Monty. He's never gonna change that voice. Yeah, Monty. He's got that. He's got that baby voice. And there's Glad. Arnie's just got to cut the bale off now. Ben and Max, stay back now. Hi, how you doing? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? How you, how you doing today? Hi, that's a lot faster. Good boy. I got, yeah, I got your bottle. Got the gate open in the front paddock here and we're letting the rams out come on ben run glad run Eat off that dirt pile there. A little straight. Yeah. <laughs> Scotty went to go after Max. <laughs> I don't want to walk in there. It's liable to be ticks. The sheep don't get the ticks. I've never seen a sheep, uh, sheep with ticks. Mm. But we deworm them, eh? Scotty's in an extremely frisky mood today. Are you extremely frisky? He's dangerous when he's in a frisky mood. He tends to claw a lot. You gonna go see that ram? Hey buddy, how you doing? Hi, hi Felon. So I'm not sure how many, but I think we got 10 rams for sale in here for sure. These would be yearling rams.
they love those willow uh, leaves on the willow tree. Here's a good view of the boys. Pretty consistent bunch. Hard to pick one from the other, really. Hi, Glad. Oh. These guys have all discovered the willow tree over here. Now these guys are probably going to head over there too. These boys are supposed to be sheared May 22nd, if all goes well. Well, I'm guessing we should go join them. See what's so exciting under that tree. Buddy, what did you do to your head? These are two boys that are for sale right here. Hi, bud. Hi. Hi, buddy. this mom up to the runway in the far pen so that she can go back and forth and maybe this guy could get some exercise and this is the mom and lamb side going out today to this barn again. Okay, you guys. Don't stampede me. We're going to open it and you're going to behave.
and I two ewes didn't go out yet. And look at them. What are you doing? It's not worth it. It's not worth the battle. Stop it. Go play with the others. Come on. Come on. Shh, shh. Go play. See, even, uh, even yous get into spites. God knows what the issue would be. But yet yeah, yeah, they've run into the field and they're going to continue on with it. I'll just chase them and distract them. Yeah, go on! Got another of you limping out there. I swear, as soon as you put the sheep out, that's when the troubles all start. <laughs> God no, they can when they go out here, they can get stuck stuff stuck in their hooves. They can trip over something. They can get pushed in the stampede out to the pasture. Who knows? But she's holding her foot up now. It's rare ever to have a limping sheep if you have them in the barn. But they love it out here, except these two. They have a real issue with each other today. And you wonder what a sheep could actually have a dispute over. That was my space in the feed trough. I don't want you to ever go into that spot again. Like, really? See, what you don't want is that running backup charge. That's when they get hurt. Okay, hopefully they've broken up now. I swear they're not going to give it up. Yep, that one's still got the run on her. This one might be giving up though. She's coming back. She's gonna go visit the injured one. It's much safer there. Or she's gonna come right back. What's wrong, honey? Was that you picking on you? What was she doing? Why was she picking on you? It's okay. It's okay. She's heading back to the barn. So there must have been some kind of dispute over, the, over some spot in the barn because she's going right back to where she was. Very odd. Okay, so that's everybody's released, everybody's fed, water's clean, the basic chores are all done right now. They just love the willow trees. And once they're done reaching the ones that they can reach, it looks like that we had a gardener come and sculpt the trees. They're so neatly done. <laughs> And of course it doesn't damage willows whatsoever for them to eat the bottom leaves off and the branches. This is the ram paddock here. They use over here. Hi buddy. The 
lambs actually graze exactly how we want the sheep to graze. They spread out all over the fields. So you don't get the trampling and the contamination and the overgrazing. And they go from the front of the field to the very back. Thought we'd go see how the rock picking rolling was doing. And these guys were all out here and saw me, so decided they were gonna go back to the fields. Hi, you guys. Chewy, you look beautiful. You guys don't have to go to the field. I gotta go this way. Just ignore the dogs. Come on, Bet Max. I think they were here for their afternoon siesta and aren't really too keen on going to the field. But the dogs startled them, so they thought they better go. I see some yellow lips in here too. Not just the lambs that are eating the dandy candy. Hi girls. So this is spring right now as everybody in the Northern Hemisphere knows. And we also know that these ewes have been out here for maybe a week and there's been no rain. So this is the big huge pasture that the ewes are on, the adult ewes, and it still looks, when you look at it from a glance, it still looks pretty lush. However, if you look straight down, there is already signs of dirt and being grazed right down to the ground. That's how quickly your pasture can deteriorate if you don't get moisture and regrowth. So there, I imagine the back of the field is still gonna have a lot more grass, but pretty soon we'll be taking them off this pasture and moving them over. So this is the field after it's been disked cultivated, seeded, and now it's getting rolled. And you can see now it looks like an immaculate, flat, well-established bed for plants to grow in. Like it looks really nice. You could plant your garden flowers in there, it's so nice. And way back in the distance, you can see Arnie's back there. So, and you can see like the seeds are basically sitting on top of the ground in places. So what you need now is some rain to push them in farther. Those little green things are the seeds. In this big field of ours, right where Arnie is now, it's kind of like an island that, that we left the trees and stuff in that little spot because underneath there's a lot of rock and stuff. So you can't um, grow things there anyway. And at the very back of the field there, all those trees, that's where we took you the other day where the forest floor is covered in a bed of trilliums. 
That's our forest back there. And Ernie must be finished rolling because that is definitely not his roller. That's the cultivator. So what he's doing, because the disc hasn't been repaired yet, it's Sunday, Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all of you who are mothers or have mothers, which would be everybody. Um, he didn't want to wait, so he's basically skipping the disking part and he's just cultivating the ground to loosen it up and smooth it out. And those would be the cornfields he's working on right now. When uh, you're farming, it's all about weather. So rather than wait while the going's good, he's getting going. If the part's back tomorrow and he can fix the disc, he'll continue on with the disking. But while he has the cultivator sitting here, he's going to use that. Oh, he's seen us, so he's heading over. Katie has a harder time keeping up these days. She used to be the first one all the time. She was like lightning. But she's the slow one now, but she still wants to be here for everything we do. I thought I was going to be showing you rolling. Oh, rolling in the fields, you mean? Yes. I thought you were rolling in the dance hall. Rocking and rolling. Well, honey, do you do a, little, a lot of that? A little late, huh? So you're finished the rolling? Yeah. Okay, we, tell them what ro what rolling was. Well, we use uh, when we roll. I, when I roll, I use a, I use a roller called the collie packer. It's a different type of rollers. So it's a cast iron roller, it's extremely heavy, and it actually you can still see the little rib marks. It actually uh, crushed all the lumps and packed down the soil a little bit. And, uh, and pushes it, big rocks in the ground, doesn't it? Any small rocks, it pushes them in the ground, and uh, and the big ones I removed it when I was rolling. So it has a little like Container. bucket at the back yeah. where he'll pull the big ones out, and the small ones get pushed back into the ground yeah. to grow bigger for next year. Yeah, yeah. So you can see the field looks pretty flat now. And, uh, yeah. And why would you need to roll it? Well, it actually, when you roll it, it actually, um, it actually makes a little bit of a, a, a flat surface. So it actually, sh uh, with actually should that night, it should bring the moisture up for the seed if we don't get any rain. So it helps a little bit. There's a number, of, there's a number of different reasons why you'd roll. You'd roll the pebbles, the rocks in the ground that the combine doesn't pick them up. You roll, you roll to break up the lumps in the field quite a bit. And uh, it rolls in, uh, it makes a little bit, like I say, a hard surface that at night when the sun goes down, the moisture should come up and, and get into the seeds if we don't get enough rain. So just all those things. And we noticed there was a few seeds on the surface, so we're hoping for rain to push them in the ground. Oh yeah, but that's because, that's because uh, the reason why you see a couple seeds is because I use... Actually, I don't see any here. It was at the beginning of the field. It's because my seed. It's because my cedar. The cedar I use is a is a cereal grain cedar, so it, it doesn't really plant it a hundred percent. Which, if you buy a, if you buy a, a correct bean planter or a planter, a correct planter with a with a packing wheel on it, it'll actually put the seeds down more consistent. But I've always got away with this. And for, for me, not being a big farmer, I'm kind of a medium farmer, probably a small farmer, uh, I can't afford a second-hand bean planter for $50,000 or a brand new one for $100,000. It's just, just totally in, impractical for me to buy that. So, so right now you should be disking that field, but your disc is still broken. So how does that cultivator work differently than the disc would? Well, the, the this is a little more aggressive. It, it can, it'll actually break the ground up. But I'm thinking, 
On a year like this year, the disc might do more damage than good. Why? Because um, that cultivator kind of floats with the ground and kind of just stirs the top up. Where a disc goes in a little bit, uh, it's a little more aggressive to break down deeper. And I'm thinking if it's dry out, you probably don't want to go any deeper than you have to. I hate to say this, but the guys that have no-tails on these dry years will probably do the best. Because that's what no-tails are really made for, dry years. Because you're not disturbing the ground, eh? So the moisture table stays right up there. Which now, if you look at this here, this is dry. So now, the only way I'm going to survive now is I've got to get rain. And we also know till guys are going to make a fool out of me this year. But if we don't get rain, it doesn't matter how you plant it. Yeah, if you don't, if you don't get rain, even the no-till guys, the guys at no-till, will be suffering too. But they might not suffer as much as me, because when you no-till, you put less into it, less work. And you, you might keep the moisture a little bit on the ground with no-till. Because no-till, that's what it was designed for. But what, what no where no-till really comes in is, is when it's really dry, the less you disturb that ground, the more you keep the, the ground moist, okay? But you see now, I broke the ground that loose up. So that whole field right now is a dry carpet and it needs water, which no-till wouldn't have that effect. It would just knife it in the ground. I took three trips over this field to plant it. A no-till would do one trip. So he's got a lot less invested. Except he's got a hundred and twenty or two hundred thousand dollar machines that buy him, which I don't have. Okay. So I mean, you can talk about it all day long. Without water, we all suffer. I gotta play the odds that it's gonna rain. Just like every year we survive, it rains. And if it doesn't rain, don't complain about grocery prices. But, it's probably gonna go up. But you ever have the feeling you're being watched? Hi! How are you, honey? You're looking real nice. Hi! Hi, sweetie. Cammy, where's your lammy? Where's your lammy? I swear that Cammy's lamb is one of the prettiest ones in this pen. She must be outside. Shall we go find her, Cammy? You gotta show everybody what a pretty lammy you have. We'll go find her. Cammy's come out now. We'll see if her lamb comes out. Must be under the wagon there. There's Cammy with her lamb. Say you lamb. And yeah, Cammy's across. Like it's way, way back. Like, I don't even know where the spots came from. It's that far back. Like this lamb of hers is probably 15 sixteenths uh, Suffolk. We kept mom, Cammie's mom and showed her. We showed Cammie in the commercial classes and yeah, and now she's got a beautiful lamb too. It's the ewe lamb walking with her. Not the little ram lamb, but that black ewe lamb. And this is Lambert's sister. He has two sisters in here. Hi, you're Lambert's sister, aren't you? Where's your other sister? Well, I'm gonna call this a day. It's a beautiful day. So I'm gonna go pull out a book, I think, and read for an hour before I start dinner. It's Mother's Day today. Um, I think I'm two videos ahead, so 
Mother's Day will have long since passed, but I hope you all had a good one. And I hope you enjoyed your time here. And if you did, please uh, join us again tomorrow for the next episode at Utopia Farms. Bye for now.